you, you typically don't see it. Um, it's going to be real easy, especially with the bumpers being round like they are. Um, this older style car, like like the Argus series, still runs. It, we didn't do it when we raced them. I mean, this is something that just has caught on in the last couple of years. So, uh, oh, Boom. Big, upside, big down, upside down, over and over the 83 of Mike Afrano. A big, big wreck coming out of turn number four into the grass. He goes another car sliding by. That's James Hilton in the 48 car. Rolling numerous times, the 83 of Mike Afrano. That was one of the more vicious wrecks I've seen in a while here at, at Talladega. And on its side now as the caution has come out. See the air cleaner laying right here on the infield grass. So the safety crews will immediately get out to that race car and driver. We're seeing him come to the car right now. It doesn't look like there's a, a right rear tire. I don't know if maybe it, it went down or it came off during the... It looked like it crash. came off in the, in the flips in the that it was doing, or the tumbling that it was doing. And maybe just the inner liner that's left. See a lot of debris here. Yeah, These guys the are really right going to have to be careful. We'll see if the uh, Arca Racing officials may send these guys down pit road, yeah, possibly. Sometimes, sometimes when there's a lot of debris on the racetrack, they'll take the pace car down pit road. And it's pretty much all the way across. They are going to take them down pit road. I think that's a great move by the officials. Give them a given up. There's the carcass of the tire right there by the ambulance that we were talking about off the right rear of that car. This is a situation where the safety crews will immediately attend to the driver, make sure the driver's okay before they think about rolling that car over. They actually practice rolling cars over. They'll they have a looks like they have a some tether of some sort that they will use to to possibly roll that car over. Right now, the biggest struggle he's going through is those seat belts are on. Obviously, you don't want to crack those seat belts being upside down. The other thing is, is he? Are, am I okay? You know, does, is everything working? Right. I don't want to move if I'm not okay. And those safety workers are really, really good. They're trained really, really well. So they're going to get him all, make sure he he's really good, make sure he's comfortable before they flip that thing over. And I'm sure it's not going to be a fun ride coming down. Justin, you you've raced a lot of open wheel stuff when you get first got started. So I'm sure you spent. A little bit of time up in midair and up up on your lid a little bit and I and don't it, remember. Yeah. Oh wait, no, I'm sorry. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but uh, but you know it's the flipping isn't isn't painful. It's the landing that's painful. Yeah. Each time you come down. Yeah. You know it's funny because you're so tensed up when you start to go over. You, you know you, you should be relaxed and you know, let it happen and be fluid. But your first instinct is to grab on and really be tensed up. That's when you can actually do the most damage because your your muscles are, are just everything's tense. So uh, not something you want to experience, and, and especially in a stock car. I mean, it, it's a lot harder in a stock car than it is in an open wheel car. You know, to to go over. So again, they continue to work with the driver of the 83, Mike Afrano. Coming out of turn number four, he's, we he's, saw him he's, tumbling. Looks like. But it'll look like Mike may be, may be climbing out right right then. I'm sure the first instinct is to get out before they flip it over because you, you don't want to sit in there ha hanging upside down. Um, not going to be easy, but definitely will want to come out. And remember, this is, if I'm looking at this correct. That's driver's side. Yeah, that's the that's driver's up. side. That's up. You see him holding the window net back. Right, so they're trying, to, they're trying to hold the window net out of the way so in case he wants to try to climb out but again that's a difficult situation because there's probably not a lot to stand on there may <laughs> be a roll bar that if he was going to try to climb out that direction well I think the rescue workers I'm sure have assured him that there's no danger of fire or right. anything they're right on the spot uh, so he can take his time yeah, if he's going to climb out of this and you're starting to see hoses tethers Fire crew getting the hoses ready just in case. They've got fire extinguishers there, as you had mentioned. You see the damage to that race car, the underside of these. Yeah, that's just cars. the wheel of, of that right rear. I don't know if I'm seeing this correctly or not, but I'm I'm not Doesn't seeing much like of a transmission or, or, or an engine. engine. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. Yeah. I don't know where it's at, but it doesn't seem to be there. It looks it appears to be a gap there. Yeah. <laughs> right. We saw that air. There's the air cleaner again, right over there in front of the car. I'm not sure where the engine is. There's, oh, there's, the, there are the headers or the edge, the headers, right. the collectors that actually would bolt on. Uh, the tailpipe would bolt to. 
it almost looks as if the engine has fallen out once it's stopped. Yeah, yeah. down oh. onto the lane right on, on the, the other side there. of the car. Exactly. And they've got the rollback out now. So They'll use that to pull the car over, I would think. Which is a good sign because obviously they're they're working in conjunction with. They know that they still have to get Mike out of this race yeah. car, but they wouldn't be bringing in this other equipment until they made sure that that driver was going to be okay to get out of there. Yeah, because they could always cut the roof off if right. they needed to get to him right where he was. So, and one of the things too, you see him taking the the fire hoses and everything out there. It's not that there's any real fire going on right now. But when they flip this thing over and get it upright, they're gonna they're gonna make sure that it nothing happens so that he can get out safely. That's a great shot of where the yeah, engine there, would have been. There, there is no engine in that car. You see by the uh, track workers to the right side. You can see racetrack through through the hood opening where there should be an engine. Actually, very rarely do you see the engine come out. I mean, the, there's not a, a ton of structures holding them in. But obviously, it's connected to a lot of pieces and parts, so they don't typically come out like that. But um, you know, luckily, it came out at some point where I, I think it maybe is sitting right there. Right. Um, but it and, di didn't do much else. And guys, it looks as though this situation is Mike has probably said, "Hey, I'm going to sit in here until we get this car upright, so that I can climb out." He probably took the seatbelts off and went, "Yeah, this probably wasn't <laughs> as smart as idea as I thought it was going to yeah. be." I think that is. There's That's a radiator. radiator. Yep. They're doing something really smart right here too. If you notice, they're going to drop it onto the the bed of the the flatbed uh, so record there, so it doesn't, there, go, all so it doesn't go all the way to the ground. And then they can set that record down nice and slow. That way, there's no jarring. Especially if you know he gets to the care center and all the adrenaline goes away, and maybe there is something that he wants them to look at. So uh, it's a good plan by the safety crew right there. Look at where the steering wheel is. Yeah, it's almost pushed up into, up, the almost into the windshield. What a great job by the crew here at Talladega Super Speedway and all of these safety officials and crew members. It's amazing the uh, all the safety initiatives that have been in incorporated yeah. into these cars. You see, there's a there's a fuel filler right there, and there's the the overflow hose right right here and here. And you see, there's fuel still in the overflow hose, but but certainly no fire. It's you know, contained. These race cars have come so far. In, in safety, not only in the fact of what we wear as drivers, but just in the entire car. I mean, it, it's amazing. Look at yep. the engine. That's the engine right there. There's the oil pan right there. You see the transmission. There's the transmission right there. It looks as if the hood is holding it in, which uh, baffles me a little yeah, bit. It's not, bolted to the hood. <laughs> it's not bolted to the hood for sure. Yeah, incredible. And maybe the hood tethers held the hood on, which which held the engine sure. in that car. Safety yeah. innovations. I mean, yeah. it, it's it's come a long way for sure. So again, this was coming out of turn number four. That's the 83 of Mike Afrano. Mike making his first ever start in the ARCA Racing Series. And this is not the way he wanted to finish it. Mike was running a couple laps down to the field in the 27th position. And now we're seeing the helmet coming out. The safety crew is going to work to get Mike out of this race car now. The seats and the headrests and the and certainly the Hans device, the head neck, head and neck restraint devices, and the helmets have come so far in the in the last 10 years or so. They really have. I mean, it looks like maybe a butler seat in there right now. Um, you know, there's a lot of choices as far as the seats go, uh, the head and neck restraints, the, the helmets, the you name it. They're all, there's so many different styles in there uh, that you can choose from. And, and, you know, the SFI ratings that we have to pass now, um, you know, the Arca series has gone to the SFI ratings on the seats, I believe, this year. Um, he's probably- There he is right there. There he is. Take a look at that. And, and we've talked about it extensively, but really have to applaud all of the people that have put the effort and time into the safety initiatives that after that violent of a roll that he's able to climb out and will walk to the ambulance. Let's take a look at what happened coming out of turn four. See him right in the middle of our screen there. He may get a little contact from behind. He gets a little contact from behind. Is that Zach Ralston behind him? and just turns him in towards the outside wall. You see the tire carcass flying out. Let's watch that engine there. You see the 
slammed down to the ground. Now the engine's yep. already pretty much loose. There's the spring sliding out around the racetrack. There's that fire we talk about, but it was immediately this is, extinguished. This is Zach Ralston, the night he makes kind of lifts the back end of that car up, turns it into the outside while he already starts tumbling about the time and hit that outside wall. It looked like the two guys in front of him there, we were talking about real estate earlier, got a little bit too close, and, uh, you know, he, he may have lifted ever so slightly. When you do that, the guy hits you from behind. Obviously, once the rear tires are off the ground, you're not you, – you, any movement on that wheel is, is going to turn you that direction and unfortunately turn him head on into the outside wall and over he went. And remember, it's the landings that are violent. <laughs> yeah. yeah, flat through the air, I, I do that. Yeah. It's, it's wow. That, yeah. Look how high that tire got up yeah. above the car. He's probably glad this is one ride in his life that's over. I mean, it, it, you yeah. know, when it's all said and done, um, you don't see many like that anymore. And that. That was take, really safe. We're going to take a look at Daddy's it safe. at about 200 miles an hour here. It looked like to, when he got turned into the outside wall, the left front tire dug in before he even got to the wall. Six and a half tumbles for Mike Afrano. Yeah, I mean, if you hear Zach, he's checking up as yeah. soon as he's hitting him. Yeah. So. I mean, obviously he's trying.